Am I looking at you? You are looking at me. Okay. Hi guys, we're back. Um, we will now proceed. Oh, again, a really quick introduction. I'm sorry, Mary Jean. The lovely Mary Jean over there. Can Hi. you see her? Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. There she is. And the lovely Ann Wood that makes everything possible around here. Hey, hi, Ann. Aloha. Hey. <laughs> What's your favorite color? <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> love songs. Just love songs. Yeah, Ted would appreciate that. Okay, so we're going to do the foam, folks. Foam. Yeah, foam. We're going foam. Foam, not the foam. 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 Okay, so <laughs> that's going to be more on the lavender side. Okay, so we need a lot of uh, white. Gotta lighten this guy up here. But one thing that's good, okay, and this is why I like this system of mixing here the other colors, is you can see the relationship between the color that's there, because that's what's here, right? And the new color that you're mixing, right? So you can uh, kind of get close um, with the color that you want, because you can compare it right there. Oh my god, I have a good joke. Can I say a joke? Sure. Okay, okay. Of course, this, this involves three of my most favorite animals, but I'm gonna tell the joke. A German Shepherd, a Doberman, and a cat died. In heaven, all three faced God, who wanted to know what they believed in. The German Shepherd said, I believe in discipline, training, and loyalty to my master. Good, said God. Mm. Sit at my right side. The mm. Doberman, what do you believe in, asked God. Mm. The Doberman answered, I believe in love, care, and protection of my master. Aha, said God. Mm -hmm. You may sit to my left. Mm. Then God looked at the cat and asked, and what do you believe in? The cat replied, I believe you're sitting in my seat. <laughs> Yes, I'm a cat mom and I love cats. <laughs> Yay! Isn't that cute, Joe? That was cute. I believe you are sitting in my uh -huh. seat. That was funny. That is funny. Well, I got one for you, Mary Jean. Okay, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Same God. Same God. <laughs> <laughs> and um, these guys are they're friends, yeah, from Hawaii, right? They're cruising around. 
and um, their um, uh, one was Chinese guy, all right, and one was a black guy, and the other one was a white guy. Okay, so the three friends cruising around, and they get into a wreck. Mock they died dead. <laughs> All what? right, they, they, uh, they died. Okay. Uh, pigeon, that's pigeon. Oh, uh, okay. Pigeon. Oh, yeah. I'm not, good, I'm not good at the pigeon. Well, because you're not practicing. Yeah, I know. All right, so, um, so anyway, now they're going to have a chance to figure it out, right? And so, and because the, 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 the black guy was just insisting that God got to be black because black is beautiful. And there's, um, yeah, but I think, you know, the white guy was saying, well, I think God is white because, you know, white is pure and God is pure. He goes, yeah, okay. And the Chinese guy is going, I don't know about you guys, but I think he's yellow because he's mellow, <laughs> right? So they get over there and they get up to the pearly gates and then they tell St. Peter all about their deal was. And he goes, oh, well, you can meet God right there, right? Just go through the pearly gates and he'll be right there. So they go through the pearly gates, goes, hey, God. We're here. We just want to know: Are you black, white, or yellow? And guy got us his back. Aloha! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I used to make lots of tips with that joke, and I, I was a tour guide. Oh my God! That's so cute. Wow. Okay, wait. Okay, I am home. Okay. Let me just answer this text of my child. Okay. okay. So now this um, this dark blue and green that I put on here earlier, the water is now tacky, okay? Like the artist. <laughs> <laughs> are, we, are we paying attention? <laughs> yeah, well, Joke uh, painting mood, this is awesome. This is like you know, painting when, in the tour bus. Okay. <laughs> when, <laughs> no, a lot of people don't know. When I oh, was, yeah. when I was going, uh, finishing up a, uh, University of Hawaii, I had a job as a uh, tour escort. At Jermaine's Luau. Yeah, the Lau Lau. Oh. I love Jermaine's Luau. Jermaine. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, it's like an hour uh, ride from Waikiki. The hotel to, chains to, yeah. to the... To the uh, Luau site, yeah. Campbell. Campbell Industrial Park. I think, I, and I, every time I go to pictures plus, I'm like, I want to drive down to the end of the road. Just, I think this is the end of the road. Yeah. I think this is the road it's on. Yes, it is the main road. Yeah. Yeah, and then the very end, take a right. And there then, it is. And, and we used to go through there, right? Of course, it's an industrial area, right? So you're the tour guide. People would be thinking, where the heck are they taking us? That's right. Totally. That's right. It looks so odd. Until you hear the spiel. All right, we're, we're approaching the Luau side, guys. If you look over to your uh, right, the right-hand side of the motor coach, Cousins, you see those tanks, that's where we make your Mai Tais. <laughs> oh my God, okay, that sounds so familiar. Oh, yeah. And then, if you look over to the left-hand side of the motor coach, that's where we make your Blue Hawaii's. It's just big blue-green tank. Oh, Oh, yeah, okay. it, was, it was It was perfect. always yeah. a thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then every once in a while, though, because there's like a feedlot over there, right? So when the wind shifts, right, it's not good, right? And, uh, and so I just say, oh, you know, it smells like, you know, a ranch, right? So I said, oh, what's that smell, cousin? I said, oh, you know what? We are uh, manufacturing a, uh, a, uh, a fragrance that we want to sell. It's uh, Eau de Luau. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, we're still working on it. <laughs> Oh my God! So when you work there, how? No, we got to do the the, the um, There's a a, a fire uh, a chimney thing uh, with a fire. Yeah, isn't that a lighthouse? No, 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 no. Oh, there, there's there, a there chimney. A yeah, yeah, but there's a chimney. There's that's, a chimney thing. that's on fire oh, at the okay. top. And they said, "Well, yeah, by helicopter, we put the pig in. In uh, we tie up the pig, 
and fly right over that fire and drop them in. <laughs> <laughs> right, and that's and that's how we that's how you back into the luau site. Did you eat the luau food every night that you worked there? Absolutely. Okay. That's how. That's part of my budget. Right. We did. We we got paid twenty five dollars a night plus tips and a free meal. Free meal and free drinks. It's a perfect job. Oh my god! It was, and then we just. I'm surprised you went with this. <laughs> well, I tell you what, the twenty five dollars a night was killing me. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I mean, you know, this 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 was the dream anyway, right? So. But that was a really fun little. Mindless, mindless job. Well, yeah. especially if um, you got a fun group. If you get a fun group, yeah, and you know they'll jab with you, right? So that's the best. Yeah, and I so I've done the luau a good few times on the bus uh -huh. because it was just a fun way to go and not have uh -huh. to drive. And then I caught on to oh, I can drive myself out here, uh -huh. and that just seemed a little bit better. Because, well, you're more control. Yes. Yeah, you can leave anytime. You can leave earlier and and get there and beat the traffic a little bit. Mm -hmm. And yes, that's correct. I don't that's know who I had with me out. one time. Huh? I don't, I'm trying to think. What? I was trying to think. We went to the Luau. No, no, I guess I, no, I'm mixing up two different outings. Never mind. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah, it just, you know, sometimes it just became easier to just drive. It's always easier Well, when you want to be in control of your time. Right. Otherwise, you got to go with a group. Yeah, exactly. And the thing was... I think the times that I chose to drive was when I took the kids with me. Mm. But the times that I chose to drink and be reckless was yeah. with just girlfriends. We yes. went on the bus. Yes. Well, that's the right way. Yeah. You don't have to worry about nothing. No. Either. It was just, yeah, different. So, but I haven't been, now that I've been to Germain in so many years. Jeez. That's funny that we have that in common. We had City, City Mail. City Mail yeah. and KFC. And KFC. Yeah, this they is also, so we, weird. It is weird. So yeah, we worked it. That was my very first job ever was KFC. Oh, mine was RT French. What is that? The mustard people. Oh, okay. Really? French is mustard, yeah. Where is that at? I was in Guam. I, oh, when, okay. I, when I got, I, I bought a car at 16, right? So I got to go pay for it, right? And it was like, I think the pay was like $35 a month. Jesus. <laughs> I have to think about that. <laughs> Jesus, God. Yeah. It's so weird, like random. But, uh, so I, I go around to all the grocery stores that carry that product. I was a visual merchandiser. You did their displays. Yes. That's right. I remember yes. that yes. now. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so my first job was at the KFC. I was I worked at the counter. Uh. Like, I often like to think that I was like Bon Kui Kui in that skit where she works at um, King Burger. I don't know that. Okay, it's just a funny skit from a comedian. But anyway, so yeah, I worked at, um, I worked as, you know, took their, took your order uh -huh. and oh my God, it was just, it was just a junk job. Like I felt like it smelled like fried chicken all the time. You did. Like it was weird. Everybody did. Yeah. Anyway, and then when I moved here, that's when I got, the, I worked at City Mill and then, um. I worked at City Mill because that's where Ruiz was working. Yeah. So when he was leaving, I was taking his room and I took his job. <laughs> where did he go? He went uh, on a uh, on a boat with a Dutch crew and an American crew went around the world looking for oil, and he was a computer guy. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. Was he married then? No. Oh, okay. No. So, he just went on a, an excursion. Yeah. Well, an opportunity. Yeah. Well, what's funny was they were um, I think they were in uh, Hong Kong one time, and they were gonna go out to eat. Yeah, with the Dutch crew and and, and whatnot. And so they, they all got menus and stuff and you know all the all the guys started ordering, right? And he was like, what? You can't speak Chinese, right? Because his menu was Chinese, right? But he was given the Chinese menu because they thought he was Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else got English. Exactly. And so he was going, oh, everybody knows what to order. <laughs> And they thought he was Chinese. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does. I mean, he could, look, he could pass Chinese. But it was just funny. Is that the realization? Like, what? How can anybody order?
Okay, so now I'm putting in the, um, the, the foam kind of coming up on the face of the wave, right? And um, I'm just making it up. Right? I'm not I'm not looking at anything so um, if, if you have something that you can look at while you're doing this uh, that would probably be a good thing if you're not used to uh, looking at foam patterns here and there so um, you know just do what do what you can and uh, everything will take practice so be patient with yourself um, some of these uh, foam is like uh, they're they're kind of all big and expansive, and then some of it's kind of um, in bits and pieces here and there. So you have a good mix, you know. So you don't want um, awkward patterns developing, yeah. And uh, the more random it is, the more favorable it is as far as looking uh, random, right? So. Um, you want you want to avoid weird weird looking shapes because even if it happens in real life, it's still weird. So random is good. Random is your friend. And also by doing so, uh, putting in uh, this um, the foam, uh, it brings down the chroma of the face of all that bright color that I had on there. Yeah. So it serves uh, two purposes, right? Not only are you able to register the foam, but in effect, visually, the mix of the foam and the dark uh, water that I put on there earlier um, comes together and uh, the net perception that you have is that the thing is toned down, right? And since I knew that, uh, that that was gonna happen, just because of experience, I went ahead and um, made the colors bolder than uh, uh, they needed to be because I knew I was going in with this, right? And so, the, and I knew that the combination will yield me the color that I want in this area, right? And I knew that because I've done all the other ways before and now I know from experience, that's why I said practice is your friend. Uh, the more you practice, the more you're gonna uh, find out about all of these things that can help you. Right? with your work so if you don't work you're you're not doing yourself any favors okay you can't just paint every once in a while okay and if you do that you're gonna be good every once in a while and I think you'd want to be good more than that question okay okay first two things okay one of our artists is watching and I will give you a clue Rena Courtney he makes little tiny creatures out of bronze. Quillen. Yes. Really? Joseph, Joseph. Quillen is watching. Uh oh, we have a real artist. <laughs> okay. Keep an eye, keep an eye okay. out. Okay, then there's a question honest. here from, uh. or not a question. I don't know if it's a question. Maybe it's a question. All right. Uh, what is this, Jeopardy? David, David, <laughs> David Hamilton would like to buy a veil. Okay. <laughs> when Roy starts a painting, uh. does he say, uh. this will be a big selling masterpiece? Or does he wait and see how the painting takes form? And then if it's great, he makes it a limited edition? Wow. That's what you call a compound question. Yeah. And no and yes. Is that right? Will this be a big selling masterpiece? I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And once it takes form, and then if it's great, does it become a limited edition? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah. If no, if if uh, people respond to it, uh, then it'll be considered absolutely. That's a good question.
you know, when the paint's all tacky like this, the uh, the forms that you paint on there um, don't they don't blend uh, easily with the paint underneath. Yeah, which is good. That way you can paint your forms um, easier, right? Instead of having to do battle with, with some of these guys. And again, you're bringing the chroma down. Since the, uh, the dark water uh, color is not completely dry, you're still snagging that color, right? So at some point, um, you're just going to have to wait for the entire thing to dry to add more foam patterns that won't get um, diluted by the wet colors that are already on here. Okay, so some effects you got to hit them while everything is wet and there's some that you got to hit it after it gets tacky and then there's some that you got to wait until it's dry before you do any more uh, foam patterns right so uh, that's the part where you gotta uh, be patient yeah knowing that it's gonna pay off if you just wait until the thing is dry because otherwise, if you keep trying to force the issue, you're, kinda, you're gonna beat up the painting, right? You're gonna lose, uh, all the colors will start getting blended together the more you manipulate it, yeah? So, um, you, you don't want that. Okay.
Bring your heels.
You take, um, you know, when you're painting, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> when you're painting like this, uh -huh. then do you like, you know, do you, do you have a time of like the day where y'all just take a break and stop and have dinner and then do you come back in here? Yeah. Or do you kind no, of... No, I, I have dinner here. In here? Yeah. She oh. Ubers it to me here. Yeah. Oh, you got the Uber Eats over there? Yeah. Coming over? Okay. So you do, you stay here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All the time? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. We don't, we don't gather around. We don't gather around. Nobody's even home hardly at the same time, probably. Everybody's got their own thing. Right. Anytime uh, we can eat together, then somehow, uh, serendipitously, <laughs> it all came together, then we love it. But other than that, we don't plan to do it. Right. Yeah. Too many, too many things going on. They usually hang around long enough so that they can swing by and grab Raleigh. Oh, yeah. So they they load up on the, when they gotta go to town, whatever errands can be run. Sometimes pick up meds or whatever. whatever. It's a good time to do it. That's the thing, yeah, with North Shore, hey, you know, once you're out there, True. Yep. Get you oh can. gosh, yes you do. In fact, you, you hate it when you forget. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, it's a big deal, right? Especially if it's important, you need it. Fuge and uh, huh? uh, the 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 singer Paula Fuge and no, I don't know that one. Oh, Again. her and Ch um, what's uh, what's the um the local singer that's pretty famous? Um, he does the Curious George song and you know he lives up here on this side. But he's all about recycling, save the planet. Um, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Johnson? Yeah. Okay. So they have a couple great duets together. She's got an amazing voice, okay. but one of them is called Country Road. Okay. The, the song Country Road? Okay. Yeah. Well, the title is Country Road. It's but not, not the song. Yeah. And uh, it's it starts off with um, uh, something about a collision on a two-lane country road. I'm uh -huh. stuck only a mile from home, you uh -huh. know, and it just it's so funny because it's so local, right? It's yep. like, 
in the middle of nowhere, you're on a two lane road, there's, and it talks about, you know, I'm praying for those people, hope they're okay, I'm thinking uh -huh. about you, glad you're sitting next to me, whatever. Uh -huh. But it's, um, but every time I, I think of that song, I think about driving, um, you know, the beautiful route when Mary Jean and I take the scenic route up here, it's a two lane road. Right. Whatever's right. in front of you is what's in front of you. And if it happens, you got no alternative. Yep, you're no matter stopped. what goes on, yeah. that is a slow going route. And yet you're at the mercy of uh, whatever happens that's not supposed to happen. Yep, I love that Pinnally Drive. Oh, it's great. It's no, there's so just nice. such a two-lane tiny road. There's no going around anything. If there's construction, it's, you know, stop and wait. If there's, you know, fender bender, it's stop and wait. Yep. So, yep. you know, you can't swim through the ocean to get to the other side. Nope. Once, I think, were you in town? Um, there was the landslide at Waimea Bay. And yeah, that was a long time ago. Well, no, Roy was oh, yeah. around, but um, so like even school kids couldn't get home. Like I think, what did they do? They take them home the long way, or did they stop at them first? And walk? At first, yeah, to get to Holly Eva Studio, I had to go all the way around. Yeah, so you were still out, way out at the he, studio. No, here. Oh, here. Yeah. But still, when I get the cam, yeah. I can't make a left. I gotta go all the way around. Right to get to the studio. Yeah, so it's like you're here, but you gotta go this way to get there. Right, until the, the army put those temporary yep. roads on there. I remember driving on yeah. those. Yeah. It's just the way it is. Yeah, a lot of history. Yep. Waves coming all nice. This? Yeah. Yeah, well, like I said, it's, uh, it's kind of quite shocking in the beginning when you're <laughs> laying it down. Oh, said, yeah. Man, you gotta clean your glasses. It's, uh, it's Do got you some even intense, have the right it's prescription? It's color. But I, if you know um, where it's going, it's a lot, lot easier. And like I tell everybody, practice so that you can, you can make um, a plan that, to anticipate what's gonna happen and then prepare your work to accommodate that, right? Knowing it's gonna get lightened up and, and you're gonna bring the chroma down and then if you had started at the right chroma, and then you're gonna bring it down, then you're gonna bring it down to the wrong chroma, right? That's the whole deal. So you gotta know that where the thing is going. And um, you can uh, prepare. All right? That's all it is. And there's no way to do that if you don't practice. Yeah. How? Um, 
How what? How about they ask for it? In an email. Oh, I thought you were going to show us how they do it. Yeah, no, just in an email. Sorry, where's Jennifer from? Film at the studio. Oh, okay. That's probably the same order that was the four parts. Mm -hmm. Make it a new spot. Where? On your palette. Oh, a new mix? Yes. Well, we're going to see about getting some uh, sunlight on the, on, the, on the foam here. So we can give it some shape. Again, this is something that uh, you can go over when it's dry to refine it, right? But right now we're registering all of the uh, areas that's getting hit by the, the sun. And uh, try to make sure your edges are not sharp. You have to feather them so that the softness um, is felt by the viewer. Okay, I did. I, <clears throat> I sent Rosie a text, and I say to him, "Thanks for speeding Gonzalez in the winter." <laughs> <laughs> I made that up. Uh huh. <laughs> he does something fast. They're going to use Speedy Gonzalez today. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Tardy Tabora doesn't... Yeah. No, it doesn't go well. No.
And here's his response. You ready for the big one? On the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I know that. That's our entire text conversation thread. Me yeah. doing all the talking, uh -huh. and Drew is saying, okay. Okay, let me see, let's see my text. Uh, okay, yeah, do you have them too? Do you have the same ones? Uh -huh. Look. Look, look at look at all the blue and look at all the okays. Do you see this? Uh, <laughs> You're like, oh, keep going. No. Okay. No. Oh, you gotta know. <laughs> yeah. What did you get? Oh, you gotta know. Look. I, and then okay. there's a yes. I, I got look. And mine, there's an okay. Mine are just a, oh gone. Okay. Ooh, something yeah. gone <laughs> with an exclamation. Oh, rack them up. Oh, that's because I told him. Oh, I, I told him I ran into my shoe rack with my car and all the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that had nothing to do with work. Of course not. That was just look what that, look what I did. I ran into my shoe rack. <laughs> Why would that have anything to do with work? It was so funny. I was like, I don't know. I just wasn't judging the backup very well. Evidently. And, and I ran right into the shoe rack, and like all the shoes fell out. <laughs> It was like, oh, that was brilliant. Yeah, it was it's good enough. Yeah. I think it made me go throw them and donate some or throw them away or something. Uh-huh. Too many. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right okay. Right and, right? then. Okay. <laughs> and then. Okay, and then. Yeah, you say that to a local dude, he'll get it. Uh-huh. Okay. And then... And they're gonna go, the hell is this stuff? See, the phone's telling me to breathe. I thought I was breathing. See, like, that's, that's why I wouldn't wear was like... Oh, my God. It's like, well, you know... It, it's bossy. I know, right? It's a little bit, you know, that's why I don't can't wear it all the time, but, I don't know, somehow or another, it came, got on my wrist today. Hamilton was on. When Boris starts a painting, does he say, this will be a big selling already... masterpiece? Oh, <laughs> you saw that one? Yeah, we, 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 we had that conversation. Oh, Kemper has you live in Maui. Uh-huh. I thought that was, uh, you said that was, uh, Joseph. That, that asked that question? Yeah. Because no, we were talking about Quillen. Right, but we were talking about Quillen, and then I went to the question, and it was Steve Hamilton. Uh -huh. Sorry. No, Dave, right? Dave Hamilton. What's the Hamilton Scott? Oh, remember yeah. Scott Hamilton? I remember him. Yeah, I wonder what happened to him. I don't know. I was like friends with him on the socials and then I don't know he kind of disappeared. Yeah he no, did. You should go look him up see if he's still on there. Dave Hamilton yeah. is the question uh -huh. and then Steve says Steve Kemper uh -huh. you're live on Maui. Maui wowie Steve Kemper.
Okay, so we got that going on. Now, if only there's a way to wake him up. <laughs> my head hurts and so does my nose. I don't know what to eat. Can you bring me food? Oh, that was from Adam. Jack's email. They, they should have a meeting first. Here's another one. Can you bring home food? McDonald's, I guess. Can you bring home McDonald's? What's up? He has spicy sauces. I don't like it. Can you bring... Like, the dad is there cooking. I know. And they're texting me to bring him home food. Yes. <laughs> they're that, sneaky little bastards. Is... <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. No, I'll, I'll be back. I'm not leaving. I'm nope, I'm just going on a zoom out view. Oh, okay. Do you want to admire it from a distance in the camera? No, no, no. Let me, let me, uh, before this bucket dries. You got to get on it. Get on it. Pellegrino, the only brand I drink. Okay. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Mixing it up with some paints. July 13, 2012. I sold New Beginnings and Glistening at Sundown. They were my sales number 265. Oh, I remember that when you used to count them. And now I'm on vacation, it says. <laughs> but uh, I, yeah. And the memory popped up? Yeah, uh, isn't that funny? Nine years ago. Yeah. Oh, I was going to New Jersey on vacation. Mm -hmm.
than 10 years ago, uh -oh. on July 13th, 2011, looks like I sold a midnight interview. <laughs> well, you well, must have. How come there's no number? What am I doing? Oh, it was number 97. <laughs> it wasn't edition 97, it was uh. number 97. Because in the comments, my friend Tina writes, 100 is so close. <laughs> That's so funny. I seem to recall that comment. That's just so funny. 97, this is a big one. Yeah, okay. That's a big painting. <laughs> wow. And then you write, way to go, MJ. All the while helping me all kinds of questions. All the, all the while helping me all kinds of questions. I was happy to have answered your correct questions, Roy. I wonder what we were talking about. <laughs> Maybe I was teaching you how to do Facebooks. Maybe. Yeah. I don't hardly even go on these like memories, but when I do, they're kind of fun. I like how little the kids look. Yeah, yeah. So it's weird. But like, I guess like it was a lot of vacationing. Like there was vacation trips that we were in Ireland and in Ocean City. We just tended to vacation a lot in July because that's when my niece's kids were off school and my kids were off school because our kids always went back to school in August mm. and their kids were always in school till June. Mm. So it was like July just seemed like our only month. So a lot of the July trips were, you know, together. Mm. That's uh, Paul. Calling you, yeah. Oh. What is it? You read it? No, because oh. it didn't come to me. Oh. Or if it, I can see it. So the other deal yeah, in order to do that so um what is the what's the what's the 20 by 60 commission up maybe that's what we should find out the things he told me, um, Paul told me a little bit earlier, um, 
is that they, they're um, all about kind of. Oh like, yes, of right, course. Kind of like. The, no, no. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So. Yes. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to budge too much until I know what it is they're thinking of. Right? Uh -huh. um, well, yeah, because we all know it depends on yeah. what, you know what kind of number we're talking about. Yeah. And that's uh, that's a fact. There's some that you can do more than others. Oh, Julie is a very good tour guide. She took Ahmad to the secret beach. That's our what? favorite. Where's that? In Waimanalo. I can't, uh, I can't tell you. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you. It's in Waimanalo, uh, but you gotta know the secret entrance. So, that's all. Uh, it's next to a white mailbox. <laughs> well, so much for the secret. But they're building, that's where they're building the Obama estate. Ah. Mm -hmm. So it was the Magnum PI house, uh -huh. but um, now it's all, it's all, uh, it's, it's a Did they uh, tear house. it down? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to make room. I've had um, fun clients like Paul's before. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm sure you had many. Yeah, yeah. Where they get a refund and leave. And then they say, oh. <laughs> And then what? And then you never hear from them again. Really? Yeah. Uh, it, it's a lot with, um, you know, like that side mm -hmm. of. I, I, so I w I'm not totally shocked, mm -hmm. but we'll see. Yeah. You never know. There, you know, you never know. Yep. But boy, I could probably sell that Elizabeth a hundred times over. <laughs> and so could Tom. <laughs> Tom had guys in there, two of them that were like both from the same company wanting Elizabeth, the bronze sculpture one mm -hmm. time. 
Well, if he doesn't buy it, I'll Is buy the Elizabeth it. the big one? Olivia. What's it? Olivia's the draft. Draft, yeah. Okay. Hi. Oh, cute dress. Hi, Hi. Red. Hi. Mary Jean's here with me, too. Did you recognize our van? Hi, guys. <laughs> we are no, on we a... have a fake van. <laughs> We're driving it's not our, our real van. van. Gina's. It's, it's the. Oh, it's yes. The... What happens with the van? My, the grandparents are driving it. Your hair looks nice. It's so long. Yeah. Let wow. me see your hair. Oh, it's really pretty. Wow. Wow. Uh, it grows like a weed. I like My how it's a little bit slow. kind of like short. Like not, I don't know if I you call it layered, but like shag. Hi there. Hi there. We're on. You guys cool. can say hello, if you wish. If you want to hello. say hi, you have to go, let's see, by where the green chair is. Hold on. Yeah, by the green chair, you can sit down and say hi. Uh-huh. Hi. What's your favorite color? Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Hi. 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 Movie Hi. star number one is in the house. Oh, cute shoes too, Rem. Oh, Are you still on? Yeah, yeah still, still alive. alive. Okay. Finishing the wave. You can say hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> if you want. If you don't want, that's okay too. Was it successful? Mm -hmm. Okay. What time are you making Roy dinner? Um, we usually don't eat till about seven. Okay. Oh, so will you guys go out to dinner on the um, Van Gogh exhibit night? Oh, I don't know, probably. Yeah, so, you know Because so, what time is the thing? I don't know what time your thing is at. Oh, there's several times? Yeah, you, you book an appointment got time. It. So ours it. was at 8.15. I see. Um, there's a specific show that runs on a loop that's about 35 minutes. So you go in, um, and when you get to that part of the exhibit, um, you can enjoy it yeah. many ways. So you could actually watch. For us, we enjoyed watching the whole loop. We sat down on the floor uh -huh. and watched the whole loop. And then got up and started taking photos because it was amazing. And, um, you know, it's pretty much, it's a big four walls with some columns in the middle, but they're projecting the imagery on the floor and the walls. Right. Canvas, stretch canvas, you know, basically. Right. Um, so the same imagery is projected in different ways kind of over the whole thing. But some you see differently. Some is sharper and more vivid colors. I think some it is duller. On where you're standing it could be. Stuff. It could be. It could all be Maybe. that. It might. It might but it was right. cool. I mean, what an idea, you know, to take the art and project it around like that, and it feels like some of it's moving. Right. Well, they added motion to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty it's cool. Really, it was neat. And there's a lot of quotes. And every, and every it's all over the country. Like oh. everybody's going to it. It's everywhere. Nice. Yeah. Well, whenever you get, um, in my opinion, um, people more well-rounded with all kinds of things that they may normally not run into, that's a good thing. Yeah? So there was this woman in there, and she was like, she had um, a Starry Night shirt on, and okay. she was dancing. Uh -huh. And I told her, I said, Anne, I'm good. And you said, look, Anne. I said, <laughs> <laughs> stop that. No, no. I looked at yeah, her, I said, that. let's exactly. go interview her. She can maybe work for us. She looks fun. <laughs> um, that's exactly what I was saying. Yeah, it was like, no. I'm like, but she loves art. Look at her. She's dancing around and she's got the shirt on. She was all dreamlike. She, she was, was dream. Before. She was dreamy. It was just fun. Uh -huh. But I, I mean, I have not like seen one negative review about it. But everybody that's gone has said it's impossible. Yeah, you would have you heard been by now. For a while because. My niece Anna saw it, but I think she saw it in France before really? COVID. Yeah, like it's it's been around a while. Oh. I mean, we might be a little late to the party, and due to the COVID, it was definitely delayed. But I can't, still can't believe that even happened. Well, it's still happening. I know it's still happening, but well, just think of all the other the the what is it the nineteen. 18, 
Was it 18? Was it 1918? Yeah. That was the Spanish flu? Yeah, the, the, that pandemic. I mean, it was a pandemic then. Right, and you, you just didn't, you weren't born then, right? So now this is your time, and now for stuff to happen to you. Yeah, it's we only your turn. turn. We got a turn. But I kept saying the whole time, like, okay, if we live, lucky, lucky we live through this, right? This is like uh -huh. really living through an amazing piece of history. Yeah. You know, that, that just was. When, or, or people that were around when there was a war, right? That went on for yeah, about four years. That. I don't want to have that. Right? I mean, I think we had a war of four years with the president. No, they just to just to every waking moment you're gonna go out there and you're like, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know? Four, year, four years of Trump was a for me. <laughs> Sorry, Ann. We're on. <laughs> Anywho, um, but yeah. All right, it is, how long is this, uh, how long has we been going on this session? Wow, oh my goodness, look what? at the progression. Now you made a lot of progress. Oh, yeah, well that's the whole point, isn't Nice and tacky, it's perfect. So it's like, okay, so that uh -huh. because it's tacky, uh -huh. it's a good run for you. So no, like, no, no, I mean for this stage. For this be, stage yeah. of it. You want it to be tacky. You want it to be this, right? So the forms um, hold. It's exactly what you want. Oh wow. The Kahala Movie Theater is gone. What? The Kahala Movie Theater is gone. Like they took it out Today? of the mall. Well, I don't know. Some someone I know just posted a picture of that wing of the mall and said the Kahala Movie Theater is gone. What could they do? Was that a pigeon saying? Yeah, make dai de. Make dai de. Make dai de. Make dai de. I should write that if I knew how to spell it. It's like make. Um, so it it may seem crazy, but it's actually been closed since 2019, almost three years. They started to renovate it, and then the pandemic, and then closed it permanently. Uh -huh. Okay, that was the end of that. Okay. Well. I mean, it was nice to sometimes go to that movie theater because it was in the mall. Uh huh. But I guess uh, we're moving on to other things. Evidently. That's the way it goes. Oh, here I go. I can get back to the bar. Jeanette Haynes. Janet. Hi, Roy. Janet. Je Janet? Is it Janet? Jeanette? It looks like Jeanette to me. J A N E T T. Ah, Jeanette hi. Hi, Roy. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, she lived on the North Shore. By candlelight. <laughs> you think I am Da Vinci? Yeah. <laughs> we, I have a switch now. I can turn on the light. I don't know. I just like, I don't know. Did you ever just feel no, like it's, it's poor dark? Light. It's poor lighting. It's poor.
you know, it was kind of new. And they're like, they don't need electricity in the kitchen. <laughs> like, it's funny. They're like, uh -huh. I'm kind of worried about the electricity. Now, they don't know <coughs> what they need it in the kitchen for. Like, it's funny how, yeah. you know, they're like squabbling about where they should have it installed. I remember I watched an episode of <clears throat> The Cramp. And it's kind of um, the queen and her sister are now like, uh, you know, married adult women. And her sister, Princess Margaret, is getting a renovation done to her house, to her fancy, swanky apartment. They call them apartments, <coughs> but they were probably huge. But, um, but Elizabeth comes over and she's all like, you're, you're going to put a kitchen in that you eat in? Like, like she was so like, what do you mean? Like yeah. we're supposed to like the food is made in a kitchen uh -huh. and brought out to our dining room. Right. We don't eat in the kitchen. Like right. she thought it was so, and Margaret's all like, oh, it's so trendy. Like this yeah. is the new way, and it was just so. There was a comedian. It was a was, completely foreign concept to they, Elizabeth. Yeah, and there was like a comedian that was uh, uh, commenting on that. He, he introduced her, and, and what do you do? A plumber? What on earth is that? <laughs> well, the funny part, there was a funny episode where, and this was when they were like the younger couple, like it was <clears throat> the season two, so it was still that original um, queen. And Prince, what was her husband's name? Edward? Ch Philip, Philip. Prince Philip is talking to her about Elton John coming to play a concert and she was like who is that like she had no idea or no billy joel i'm sorry it was billy joel and she was calling him billy joel and who is this billy joel and, and he's like telling her you know who it is and she just had like no clue yeah. so it's just funny to see that you know she had such an innocent concept of things that she Sheltered. Just, yeah, yeah, they just weren't brought to her attention. But so with. many other things were <laughs> that she had to deal with. Yep. What on earth is that? With her plumber. <laughs> and she just, she loved her horses, man. Yeah. That was her thing. That was her passion. And she really missed the boat because she had to be the queen. But she really but wanted, she she yep. really, she wanted to be a, like, but her passion was horses, like, Buying them, selling them, training them. Oh. You know, that was, there was one episode that was completely geared to her going with a friend uh -huh. to look at some horses in America to ship over to England. And she was just in such a stage of delight. And she even says that, like, this was what I wanted to do. Uh, it was just, it was a really cool episode to see uh, that side of her. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but horse it, riding, hunting. I think she would have loved living in Scotland more than she ever did. I liked The Crown. I felt like that was a really, I loved it. I really, really got into that. And I think they're making another season. Because of the setting? Yep. Well, they may have stopped filming during COVID, too. But the biggest thing, I think, is they, um, it's just the extraordinary sets and everything that mm. they have to yeah. work with. It's, it's extravagant, for yep. sure. I think because I read about it. When you're excited about something, it takes a so long. You're like, geez, it's about a year between. Mm. Yeah. So. I waited a year for The Handmaid's Tale, too. We know what's going to be it. coming up is um, the Apple TV show, the news one. Oh, yeah. You told me about that oh, one. Yeah. I never saw it, though. It's called um, News... Um, stars Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. And um, also, who's the comedian from The Office, the main guy? Correll? Yeah. Oh, he's funny. And it was... Um, really really good it was very on the now of like the me too movement mm. so reagan and i watched it twice and then we forced kim sheree to watch it forced yeah we forced her during covid to come over when people didn't go outside yet. Uh. we're like you have to come 
Yeah, Anne tried to recruit me in that, and I said no. <laughs> you, um, I'm walking away. Literally, I can walk I, away. I'm walking away. <laughs> I think I was already invested in The Sopranos, and I couldn't take on any more shows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sopranos. I miss those guys. Oh, my God. That was, that was very intense. Remember when they had talked pussy in the boat? <laughs> it was so sad. It was. It was it so was. sad. Because all I can think of is when they all got along. I know. Well, you know? Yeah. And then it's going to end like that. Exactly. And the guy knows it. Oh, he knew. Yeah. He, everybody what show are you knew talking it. About? The Sopranos. Oh. I was going, oh, really? Oh, no. it's called The Morning Show. Okay. The Morning the Show, show the, she's talking the, about. The news show is called The Morning Show. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So it was an inside look at the modern workplace through the lens of people who help America wake up. Uh -huh. so there, she's a host. I see. And she had a morning show with Corral. And um, it starts off with, you know, uh, a Me Too movement scandal, basically. And then it back, as it moves forward, it backtracks. So it's really cool. Uh -huh. Or backflashes, whatever. Flashback. And it's only yeah. on Apple TV? Yeah. Why can't we have it on Netflix? Everything needs to be on Netflix. Well, it's made by Apple TV. Yeah, it's not, oh, you know, it's not just three guys making movies now. It's everybody, right? You should know that. You're, you're kids in the studio. Yeah, I know. But all, everything he's done has been a Netflix show. No, I mean, as far as knowing what's up. You know, there's a lot of people produce. That's why it's a really good time for a rally out there. The industry is you perfect. Yeah. The, the Me Too thing happened, right? So everybody, it's out in the open now, right? And uh, people are, are a little bit, uh, or should be anyway, a little bit uh, more aware that there are people like that. And that was the thing too. They 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 taught that in our school, so that was really. Oh, cool. that's great. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, they have a, um, you know, they had, they have a, they keep they have a, like a track record of, of successful stuff. They certainly don't want to be having any of their kids be involved in something like that. Right. Right. They got a reputation, so anything they can do to help you out, they will. They, they wanna they wanna claim you huh, afterwards.
this, just this part, and then that should be it for today. speaker lasts for a good several yeah. hours. It's good. Well, since you got it charged up.
so lovely. Mm -hmm. It's just so relaxing. Yep. Are you completely relaxed? I am. I'm almost in a dream state is where I don't know where I am. <laughs> I'm telling you. That, oh, so in the Van Gogh, they play this really kind of music, kind of like this. Uh -huh. Maybe it's a little more French ish. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I totally felt like I could lay down and fall asleep. Uh -huh. Like I could have just stayed in there for hours. It was so dreamy. Yeah, the photos are amazing. It's just nice to be so relaxed. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. relax. Relax. Because <laughs> you know, usually we and Ann are screeching at each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you guys enjoy it. It was nice to have a fun mm -hmm. night though, as like yeah. just friends, just like that was fun. Stuff. And, the, and have the girls drive. Yeah. Like that was what, what the best part. Oh, and wait, even better was in the restaurant. And did you, you have two go? drink? We went to Miley's no. Thai. Oh! <laughs> Wait, did you ever drink? Did you ever drink? You only had one. You had one. Julia had two. I had two glasses of wine. And we had Reagan as a designated driver because she was drinking chai tea. What does she came or, drink? What's that? Ta yeah. Chai yeah. tea. No. She's, she's only 19. 19. Oh! What? Oh, yeah. okay. Reagan's two years younger than okay. my kid. Okay. So what was it? What were you going to laugh about the restaurant? Oh! We were um, talking about work and everything, so we decided we can't talk about work, but if the word Roy oh, we have to drink. Out, we have to drink. So actually, every time- I made a drinking game. If you say the word Roy, you have to drink. <laughs> so, so that's why she went through two glasses of wine. <laughs> Roy, oh, okay. get out of there. No, but we're like, no matter what's in front of you, wherever you are, no matter what it is, if you hear if the you, name if Roy. You say Roy, or you hear, it was just That's funny. It doesn't even matter what That's Roy it is funny. anymore. But drinking game, yeah. We're like, we have to drink. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. So oh, yesterday, yeah. what did I have in the car? Coffee? You're like, yeah. drink! Roy, oh, we have to drink! <laughs> Are we still playing? Oh, it's forever. Hopefully Roy's That's ears funny. weren't ringing. Yeah. Roy's that ears weren't funny. ringing. Yeah, it was funny. That is hilarious. I will give you. We're gonna spread it now oh, to everyone. Now more. this, now this watch is telling me I it's became, time the to moment stand. I became a drinking game. Stand you up. You know you're move. famous when. I have to stand up and move for a minute. That's what the watch is telling me. Really? Yeah, it's foxy. Well, it's good. This session's an hour and a half. Uh huh. That's good. It's really coming along. Yeah. Spectacularly. Soften it up, right? Yeah. And I haven't even done the foam up here. I think I'll wait. Uh, should I wait now? You know what? I'll do that now. I'll do a little bit now. Get that. Text me a few photos. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Yeah, that's the uh, formal front door. I, I look forward to when we can have a party out there again. Yeah, I right? like those parties out that door. Yeah. Out, like if the, I like when we have them in here and we sat out there. Yeah. I like that. Well, the way you can just kind of roam around, no, no problem. Oh, wow. oh my god. What happened? It's turquoise. <laughs> I, was, I thought of Jack today. I was watching a movie, A Hardball, with uh, Keanu Reeves oh. and, and uh, Diane. What's her name? Diane somebody. Anyway. Diane Lane? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there is the, uh, the, the uh, so, you know, he's, he ends up, he's like, he's, he's a mess. Yeah, Keanu Reeves is a mess. Mm -hmm. But he ended up being a coach of this uh, baseball team. What's the name of that one? Uh, hardball. Oh, hardball. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and they had this one pitcher that's got headphones on and, uh, you know, listens to the music and, and the beat and stuff and gets, you know, he's got his antics on the mound and stuff and he's just like, you know, just dancing to the thing and then he's ready to pitch. And they just, you know, blow away people, right? To the point where the, the, uh, the coach on the other side complained about it. Right? And you know, so then those little dramas that was going on, but I thought of Jack. It's like, cause that guy was, was yeah. like, oh yeah, he was pitching really well. Yeah, that, he went to Shriners, he had an appointment, was it Monday, that yesterday? Mm. He. Oh yeah, he for the Yeah, time. they told yeah. him to take like six weeks off. Uh oh. But the team is on kind of a break for almost four or five weeks right now. Oh good. So it worked out good. And then they um, mentioned a place called the, um, I think it's called Star Therapy, and the guy, the doctor, is a baseball player or what, wow. so he's really good. He'll actually go watch, take the kid out to the park and watch him play. Uh -huh. Like, what's your sport? How do you play it? Uh -huh. Let me see what you do. Uh -huh. And um, he'll great. tailor a program That's for him. Great. Yeah. That's great. Well, somebody that feathering. possibly won't Feathering. <laughs> feathering. We're feathering. Okay. See, but that just brought the brightness down. Yeah? Remember how stark it was? Okay, and then see that little speck of gold right at the very end? Yeah, what is the story with that part? Does That's that the stay future, there? Think. That stays there. That's the reflection yeah. right there. Yeah. Okay. It's lined up. Are, are, did, is there rays still in this? Yeah, They're but I'm going to do the whole thing over. Okay, yeah. okay. So, and, and then um, this is kind of, you know, like the first cult. And then, okay. Yeah. All right. Is that a wrap for today? It's a wrap for today.
and then like you know, everything I'll, I'll go over everything you can um yeah uh, so we can say goodbye yeah okay awesome we'll see all you right again next guys time. thank you so much for hanging out with us keeping us company we always appreciate it again thank you for your questions it was great to see uh, uh and be in touch with old friends from way back um so anyway mary jean and ann and i are signing off thank you very much until next time aloha aloha, aloha. aloha.